Hello, beautiful ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys today? My name is Ninja Bacon, and if I sound a little different, it's because I got a new microphone. And uh, I figured that would, this would be the perfect video to try to test it out. My voice still isn't quite there because I also am getting better from a cold I've had for the past few days. I'm still not quite there, uh, but I wasn't feeling good enough to make any videos for the past few days. But now I'm, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm still not quite there, but I'm, I'm a little bit better. I'm feeling a little more okay. and um, But that's that's not what we're going to talk about. We ain't here to talk about me today. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Today I want to talk about how to get good at Destiny Multiplayer. Now I know there's a lot of guides out there, and, I, and I've been seeing some of them, and I'm just noticing that some of them are missing crucial facts. Like most of them I'm seeing is just like, Aim for the head and have good weapons. And that is, those are legitimate parts of it. Um, but you're missing a little bit more. And by the way, this gameplay was a really bad game at first. I started sucking really bad. I cut out half of it. But then I, I go on like, I think around 11 and 12 kill spree later, kill spree bleh, later on. Excuse me. And uh, so, yeah, I, I get a little better at it. But the besides that, this rest of this game sucks. But anyway, I wanted to take you through my step-by-step -step guide on how to get good at Destiny Multiplayer. In Destiny, you're going to have many different weapon types to choose from. Here's a list of some of the different kinds of weapons and weapon types you'll be able to choose from. Auto rifles are very, very handy for close and medium ranges. They are fully automatic rifles. Basically, they're another word for assault rifle. Um, when you think auto rifle, you basically can think of an assault rifle, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an assault rifle and it's fully automatic, uh, close, close, medium corners gun. It's a bit, uh, not so much at long ranges. Uh, and this kind of gun would go into your primary slot. Uh, the many variants of it, depending on power and kick and, uh, accuracy and etc. Well, this is a pulse rifle. A pulse rifle is basically a semi-automatic three-round burst uh, assault rifle that is good at medium and long ranges. It doesn't. It does a little more damage than an on-par assault rifle. However, it has a slower rate of fire, but it is good at longer distances. Not the best at short distances, though. This also would go into your primary weapon slot. This is a scout rifle. This is basically the other side of the spectrum from a assault or of an auto rifle. Ugh, excuse me. They are a one-shot semi-automatic rifle that is more powerful than both the auto rifle and the uh, pulse rifle. However, it's got the slowest rate of fire out of the three and um, really can be depending on circumstances, can be good at medium distance, but it's really meant for longer distances. Not sniper distances, but longer distances. This would also go into your primary weapon slot. And the last of the primary weapons, which actually I used to hate, but I'm really starting to like, is hand cannons. Now, it may look surprising because you're probably thinking, Ninja, that's a pistol. Why is that a primary weapon? Um, it is got out of all the primary weapons probably the slowest rate of fire and usually has a really slow reload time but the, do not let that fool you the size of that gun it's called a hand cannon for a reason those things pack a punch however they don't do very good on body shots so make sure you're aiming for the head when using that thing and like i said that also takes up your primary weapon slot all right, moving on to special weapons that take up special weapon slots. First off, as you're seeing here, we have the shotgun. The shotgun is basically what you would think it is. It's a shotgun. It doesn't do anything at long range. Depending on the shotgun, it might do something at medium range. But really, you're only going to want to use that gun if you're going in for close quarters. Most shotguns will, if close enough, will one hit, uh, depending on the shotgun. Uh, and you'll see right here, this guy, he's using a shotgun. He just got that close to me, and I was dead. Uh, shotguns are very powerful if you know how to use them, and they take up a special weapon slot. Next up, we have sniper rifles, which, again, are kind of like how you would picture them. They are sniper rifles. They won't do anything at close range, uh, but for medium and especially long ranges, they will pack a punch. Uh... Most sniper rifles will two shot in the body and will one. You know, most will do uh, 
a single headshot will finish off your enemy. But sniper rifles, don't be thinking you're going to be doing any like 360 quickscoping and crap like people in Call of Duty do. Not in this game. There isn't none of that in this game. This, you really have to know how to snipe to order to be an effective sniper in this game. And the last weapon we have in these special slots is the fusion rifle. Personally, my favorite out of the three special weapon types. It's basically the mix between a pulse rifle and a shotgun. It's a very close quarters weapon with a three round burst that actually uh, will one hit most people, but it requires a charge. Um, interesting thing about fusion rifles is depending on how powerful it is, will take a longer charge time. So yeah, you could have one that does double the damage of one that has a one second charge time, but if it's double the damage, that means it's probably going to take two to three seconds to charge, so be wary on that. Moving on to the heavy weapons category, which is the third weapon category that you switch to by holding Y instead of pressing it. Uh, this, what this you just saw over there was a heavy machine gun, and it is basically what you think it is. It's a big fat machine gun that does a lot of damage but you spawn with no ammo in it so be wary of that is when you spawn in you're not gonna be able to pull whip this thing out and just start blasting people you're gonna have to find weapon ammo for it it comes in special crates sort of like the special ammo crates but it's titled heavy ammo uh crates and you only find those you'll hear the announcer talk about oh you the heavy ammo is inbound and that's where you'll find those uh, and this goes in, like I said, you probably can self-explanatory into your heavy weapon slot. Next up, we have rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are another pretty self-explanatory one. They're giant cannons that hurdle rockets at people. And they are pretty, pretty powerful, I've noticed. I personally have actually never gotten to use this weapon. Uh, but they are pretty dang powerful for when I've been killed by them multiple times. Uh, and this also goes into your heavy weapon slot as well. Your armor is a very, very key component in Destiny, especially in fighting. And I will show you the different types of armor. These are the universal armors, kind of the armor everybody has. A helmet, gauntlets, chest armor, and leg armor. These are all of the rare variant, uh, hence the blue background. And of course, there's the class armor, which is different for every single class. Um, for example, I get the cloak because I am a hunter class. There's a badge for the titan class and a bond for the warlock class. Now, every armor has different stats to it. As you can see, my helmet has a 185 defense on it. And it also gives me plus 7 light and plus 75 strength. Now, light has to do with a little bit later... You get normal XP until you reach level 20, and then you go up higher in levels depending on how much light you're quote-unquote wearing. Um, so this adds light to my quote-unquote XP bar in a way, which isn't really important uh, for this topic. But strength, that is important because you have these three stats right down here that are very imp important for Destiny. Uh, you have your intellect. Intellect reduces the cooldown time of the golden gun, allowing you to use it more often. Basically, what intellect is, is it allow it doesn't necessarily mean the golden gun. It just says that for me. But basically, intellect is your special abilities. How every class has its little special abilities. You have your starter special ability, and then you have the one you get at level 15, which is a second one. Intellect basically reduces the cooldown time of that, allowing you to m use it more often. I currently have it 64% of all my stats, all my armor, are going towards that. You, you can see I get 88 intellect from my chest armor, and 80, no, it's 85, no, 88 from my chest armor, and 85 from my, in, from my boots. Blah, blah. Then I also have 59 discipline. Discipline decreases the cooldown time of your grenades allowing you to use them more often and i'm not really too big of a grenade guy i only use it like if i'm in a really tight situation so i i didn't really put too much i really like using my special abilities not a big fan so i only put a little bit on my discipline and then strength reduces the cooldown time of my throwing knife or whatever it would be for certain classes allowing you to use it more often and again 
I don't use that too often either, so that's a little bit lower. Um, as far as I know, and I could be wrong on this, but as far as I know, class armor is doesn't really affect you. As far as I know, it just makes you look cooler. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the basics for, and you can see my total defense right here is uh, 621. Um, another cool thing is you want to make sure that you're upgrading your parts as well. See, once I get one more sapphire wire, I'll, it'll increase its defense. Uh, and then I'll also be able to get increased super energy gain from killing minions of the dark. Uh, so, that's kind of how you want to you wanna make sure that your armor, you want to make sure you're constantly having it. Ooh, my batteries are dying. You want to make sure you constantly have it being, you know, upgraded. Um, yeah, and you want to make sure that balance out the way you want these stats you know if you really really are a grenade heavy guy then you're gonna want to put a lot into discipline uh if you're real if you're like me and you really like using your special abilities put it into intellect you know and uh really find what suits you what suits you best and you can see i also have my loadouts right here as well uh and then i have my special abilities up here and yeah, armor is a very key component in this game. Now you could very easily be following all of these steps. You've found what weapons suit you best and you've really just uh, boiled down to what kind of class armor you like to choose from. Heck, you've chosen what class you like and, you're, and you know you've found what best suits your playstyle yet you're still bad. You're still not doing good. And don't get me wrong, even after all this advice, you're not going, you're still not going to be the greatest for a while. I mean, everything, when you come, when it comes down to it, just takes practice. However, I'm hoping that these tips will help you get started a lot quicker, uh, instead of having to literally learn everything on your own. Um, but now I'm going to talk about the actual combat of the game. Now, I've found personally that this game probably represents closest to me almost like a mix between Call of Duty and Halo, yet at the same time, it is very much its own game. Do not come into this game, uh, I know I'm just, you know, contradicting what I said there, but don't come into this game thinking, is, oh, this is like Halo, or oh, this is like Call of Duty. The Destiny is very much its own game. The only things that make me kind of, you know, sort of picture Call of Duty and Halo, it's got the verticality uh, and the sci-fi feel of Halo, but it is, the gunplay feels very much like Call of Duty. But don't, if you play this like Halo, and you're trying to rush people, believe me, you're not going to survive a full clip from an assault rifle. It's just not going to happen. Uh, like, you know, the Master Chief does in Halo. And it's the same thing with uh, Call of Duty. If you're playing this like Call of Duty, you're going to be going through tight corridors and all this stuff, you know, being all tactical. And next thing you know, some Titan's going to slam right down onto your head and kill you. Um, it's just not how it works, you know, you've got to know what you're doing, and, uh, there's a few tips I know for when it comes to fighting the game. Don't rush. Rushing, unless you have a shotgun, uh, and you're in a tight space, rushing do not work. Take it slow, take it tactical, you know, think about your next move, especially in games like, uh, control, the game I'm playing right now, I think it's called Control Points. Uh, make sure you're taking it slow and tactical. Don't don't be a, don't rush all the time. You know. Uh, another thing, aim always, no matter what it is. The only exceptions for these rules are fusion rifles and shotguns. Aim for the head. You do so much more damage when aiming for the head. Uh, I don't know how much I can. Sh I don't know how much I can stress headshots. Always aim for the head, especially with sniper rifles and hand cannons. Um, another thing. Use your special abilities as much as you can. And another and something that a lot of people it took me forever to actually realize the more you kill people, the the faster your charge will go up. It, get, it counts towards your special ability points. So if you're not getting a lot of kills, you might get your special you're still get gonna get your special ability at least once in the match. But uh, the more kills you're getting, try to go on those nice kill sprees because the more kills and points you're scoring, that's the faster you're gonna get that special ability. And my last tip for this video is swag. Make sure that when you're on that battlefield, so there's no point in doing good if you don't look good while you're doing it. 
because anybody can do good. It takes talent to look good while you're doing good. Uh, make sure you got like that special armor camo and you see I got that swaggy little cape right there and it like counteracts with the black armor. Yeah, you know, and I got my armor shaders like if you look here, this is uh, not really swaggy. This is mm, yeah, swag. Yeah. And but this that's swaggy. Okay, that looks you look like just nobody's gonna want to mess with you, man. And uh, another thing you always want to make sure you do uh, at the end of a match, uh, once you got your swaggy look, you always want to make sure you dance. Uh, when you beat the enemy team, let them know oh, we beat you, and you guys are a bunch of scrubs. So you dance. It's basically like Team Fortress 2 taunt, but in Destiny. Anyway, <laughs> uh, swag doesn't really matter. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I am still learning. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you, if I missed anything, or if you just have something you want to say, leave a comment down below as well. Uh, if you want to see more of my Destiny videos, and you want to stick around for future Destiny videos, uh, click that subscribe button if you want. And yeah, so yeah, I'm still learning this game. And as I know a lot of you probably still are, um, there's probably some of you Master Ace people who have mastered it by now, but I'm still learning, and I, I like getting to know people. We could all learn this game together. But yeah, anyway, that's about it. Uh, check out some of my other Destiny videos as well if you want. Uh, thank you guys again for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video.